Alright guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda. My name is Pineapter, and we are continuing our Let's Play today. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and go over to Hyrule Castle and meet the princess. Because uh, we just got uh, the Spiritual Stone of the Kokiri, the Emerald. And, uh, yeah. Let's get going. Oh, no, not you! Woo -hoo. I'm, sure I'm not doing that. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Deal with it, little... <laughs> Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Seriously, it's going to get really tough. Like, dark and shit. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. And if you are lost and don't know which way to go, you have a map. Just fucking look at it, you stupid kid. <laughs> the areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Sort of how a map works. Not sure why I have to explain this, but I do, apparently. Press start to enter the subscreens and Z, R, Z or R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should go next. I mean, it's not like a piece of paper should be flashing, but sure, it, that exists. It's magical. Did you get all that? Right here, I want to point this out just to not be totally serious. This sucked. Because as a kid, what you'd always do is you would scroll through this and just like mash the A button to try to get rid of the stupid conversation. And then you would accidentally press no because it's the default. And then you'd have to listen to this whole thing over again and you'd be in this endless cycle of torture of listening to this owl monologue. So, <laughs> so I'm going to press yes. I did get all of that because I've grown up and I've gotten past your tricks, you fluffy bastard. All right, then I'll see you around. Hoot, 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 ho. <laughs> That noise, that's, not a, that's not an owl noise. It's not. Alright. Goodbye, strange bird. Hey, what's up, Navi? The great Deku tree wanted us to go visit the princess at Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? Yes, it's not like we were going in that direction already or anything. I mean, not at all. We were clearly just wasting time. Not doing anything closely related to going to Hyrule Castle. It's not like we had an intro and I talked about it. No, we were just we we're just hanging out by those trees, you know. It's what every adventure hero does. Does, does, does. There's like a Z U in it. <laughs> All right, just follow the path. Oh, it's you. What? Stay away. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I've already talked to you enough. All right, there is the gate. Let's get over there. You know, one of the things that you got to remember is um, if you ever played this uh, and you know that there's a night, a day-night cycle in Hyrule Field, unlike the rest of the game, uh, or it'll change anyways. Um, so one of the biggest fears you had as a kid was that when you're running around out here, it would turn to nighttime and the gates close. And so you're stuck out there fighting a skeleton army from Evil Dead. And oh my god, <laughs> there is at least, let's say, 50 pixels on that screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I'm playing on a 1920 by 1080 screen, but, you know, the characters at least still look good, so there's that. Um, so welcome to, uh, Mark, wait, yeah, it's Hyrule Market Town, I think. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff in this town. I'm not going to really explore that right just now. I want to go see the princess, but uh, that is the general store, potions, um, also sells pots and pot, you know, she's crazy like that. This is the... The Happy Winky Face Heart store. Um, this is a store for they sell stuff stolen from Target stores. This is someone who cannot afford a drum but still wants to be a street performer. And that's a door. But that's also a man. And uh, that is the door game that hasn't opened up yet. Alright, um, we talk to you, little girl. Hey! <laughs> or I should do that. Hey, your clothes are different. You're not from around here, are you? Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest? My name is Malin. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk. At least he said something about milk. I think he was delivering. And he hasn't come back yet. Okay. Look at that judgmental asshole in the vest here. Look at that. What is that face? He just... <laughs> does, does he have a nose? I don't think he does. Who is that? It's, it's kind of funny looking. I never noticed that. 
That is a very strange looking guy. See, I get all the weird looks because I wear wore green and it's not um, St. Patty's Day. But that weird motherfucker is just looking at everybody and staring him down all judgy. Hey, Link, this way! Everything's up down. It's all weird. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho, 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 hoot. I'm doing my Santa Claus impression. On the, oh, we're, go, we're up for flipping the, flipping the owl. On this ground, time flows different normally, but time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll, wait. Why the, why, why does time not pass normally in a town? Think about that. That is some ma wizard stuff. Like, it, time just stops, apparently, when you're in the city. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Yeah, you little, <laughs> get out of town. Well, 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 which way are you going to go now? Hoo, hoo, hoot. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? See, again, the little default. Yes, no, you gotta be careful and read that shit. It's like a legal contract. No, I don't want to hear that again. Hoo, you're a bad sport. You're a smart kid. <laughs> you figured out my switching of the yes and no options. Good luck then. Hoo, hoo. <laughs> Stupid owl. At least I think it's an owl. All right. Um, now I know I can't get through the gate. That shows. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I can't get through the gate. Oh. Oh shit! Uh, a spider. You're an ugly little one, aren't you? There we go. By the way, I didn't guess that. I actually do remember that. I know some things. <laughs> Important video game knowledge, like random spiders in tree locations. Uh, there's some little bugs for fishing, but I can't fish yet, so can't use those. So we're gonna dodge the gate guard right there and uh, head up and grab the thing that's not. Okay, come on. If you gotta climb, you gotta use a vine. Just remember, it only works if it rhymes. It's, just a, it's, a, it's a universal law. Okay, so let's see here. Now, if I go, so there's that dude just looking all glamorous and showing off his hips. Uh, for seriously, that is the weirdest pose. Like he's just like styling. Um, so we can't go that way. Woo! It's not a werewolf. It's it's just a dog. Um, <laughs> dodge these impeccable security guards, the tightest security in all of Hyrule. Like, <laughs> I, I, I think this is just, um, this is like the, the shelter for the blind or something, because these guards suck. Like, they cannot see anything. Alright, so dodge those guys. Let's head this way. Uh, up we go. And we're going to go this way, up and over the hill. Ba boom, like a ninja. Um, now I remember correctly, if you can't get that close to them, so you got to go in the uh, moat here. Also, you get money from it, so that's a good reason too. Remember, there's always money in strange bodies of water. It's a rule. Ah, <laughs> uh, no fiber, just uh, just some green stuff. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, who who's this lazy bones? Hello, Mario. You've been really growing out your arm hair and doing a mustache thing. Speak. Zs. Mumble, mumble. Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. <laughs> Come on and look around. It's like an infomercial while he's sleeping. It's so strange. Alright, um... Now, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong about this, I think what I need to do is I need to go, I, get, I need to get kicked out because they don't expect you to finish this the first time around. So, uh, here, let's have a little fun with it. Right? Really? They're just magical wizard guards. Bullets don't, <laughs> bullets just phase through them. Attack me! Hey, you! Stop! You kid over there! The one who I'm not looking at. <laughs> Did you notice that? He, he turned the wrong way. Alright, oh. Kicked my ass out. Alright. Well, I don't need your stinking princess anyway. Oh, hello, little girl. What's up? <laughs> Are you going? <laughs> Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere. It's been seven days. We're kind of worried. I think he may be dead. Somehow he like starves sleeping. 
What a... <laughs> what a fun thing! What a thing! thing. <laughs> Here, I gotta gather myself. What a thing for an adult to do! Tee! Oh yeah? If you'll look for him, I'll give this to you! I've been incubating this egg very carefully! I yes, I'm a human! Tee hee! <laughs> you got a weird egg! Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to C and see what happens! C? <laughs> On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right, and then press C to use it. Use the hell out of it. All right, well, um, she's just sort of jamming out there. All right, well, I need time to pass so that this egg can hatch, because uh, there's a little cuckoo inside of it. And uh, that's what she just gave me. She just gave me a bird. It's like a person just randomly handing you a chicken to use as an alarm clock for their father who fell asleep on the job. It's, it's kind of strange. But, you know, Legend of Zelda. I mean, Midna happens, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, you remember what happened after you uh, save her and she turns back into a normal form? Just saying. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's see here. We run past the guards, run past the, uh, <laughs> the blind people. Then, what we're gonna do is climb the bricks uh, up this way. The high res, super detailed bricks built into that wall. <laughs> By the way, why are there just, like, bricks in that wall? Like, it's just a dirt wall. Why would that be there? Anything over here? Is there, like, a, a secret Mario? No? Just just a hole in the game world? Okay. Alright, swimmy swims. Alright. Oh, Actually, it is kind of cool. You do get money for this. So, you actually get a good fair amount. So, alright. Let's go wake this guy up. As soon as... Night goes, and then the egg hatches. Okay. Let's see if the stick wakes him up. Huh? Can I, can I trim his beard? That would wake me up, you know, if someone just started cutting off, like, my hair. Give me, a, like, a makeover. A very violent makeover. Alright, come on. Sunset, sunset, sunset egg. Better hatch, please. Alright, egg, hatching powers, activate! Form of... Cuckoo! Please? Thank God, okay. It's not a chicken, it's a cuckoo! That's a, that's, that's a mistake. Oh, no, 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 stop! Stop talking to him, just wake him up with the chick, the, the cuckoo. Alright. Activate! <laughs> um... He got up without w opening his eyes. Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Oh, now he's up. Oh, he's got like... You did not... How did you get... You look like you did not get a lot of sleep, buddy. Oh, there you go. You're a little better. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. Greatest ranch around. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I just sat down here to rest. And I guess I fell asleep. What? Mal Malin has been looking for me for like a week. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad leaving Malin behind to wait for me for a week. She's really gonna let me have it. Yeah, that little girl. She's definitely just a merciless chewing out machine. That's a great view under the castle. All right. <laughs> well, let's get into the castle and let's uh, let's go see the princess, guys. Again, just child of Hulk right here. Son of Zeus. Like, <laughs> seriously. That, I mean, this is a crate of milk. I, like, appreciate that what he is moving has got to be, like, at least a hundred plus, two hundred pounds of milk and wood and stuff, you know? Like, how can he possibly be able to do that? You know, I just don't get it. All right, well, here. Keep pushing that. Um... <laughs> just do like a little moonwalk on the ground there. Do you guys notice that? Like, look at his little feet. Like, they're not moving, and they... There you go. Like, sliding. I mean, he's a kid. He shouldn't be able to move this. I mean, this is impressive. All right, climb. And leap of faith. And into the sewer drain. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Um. All right, guys. So, we're going to sneak through this maze here all stealthy-like. Yeah, you look that way. <laughs> what is he's so bored? He's just like 
Man, this detail sucks. I just get to walk around this square maze and just look at walls and shit. It's so exciting. This is totally what I wanted to do when I got out of college. Alright. Um, oh, there's two of them on this one. Uh, oh, 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 I can go now. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Um, do I dare? Yes. Come on. Go the other way. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, sh oh you're slow. Move it, old man. I, I don't know if he's old, but like, you know. He needs to move. He needs to pick up the pace so I can steal these rupees faster. Like, seriously, what is this? It's like a money garden. Like, imagine if you just had a bunch of $5 bills sitting around on the ground in your backyard. Like, for no apparent reason. That's what that is. It's weird. <laughs> All right, come on, move. Move your little, t you know, short, um, chainmail butt. All right. Um, I feel like he's, yeah, he's gonna come right there, and if I had gone right now, I would have been caught. I feel like. All right, so let's see here. He's gonna move there. Um, he moves there, and then this guy starts moving this way, right? Okay, okay, so we can go. This is our chance. It's an opportune moment. I'll just slowly shuffle over here. Not even like bending down or anything. This is like the least ninja thing I could be doing. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I thought he saw me. Oh, come on. Here we go. Home stretch. Uh, here you go. Oh, don't look at me. Please do not look at me. Come on, go. Go. Oh, please don't turn that corner. I would be screwed if he does. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, we did it first try. First try. It's not particularly difficult, but we did it first try. Always need to say that. Um, oh, there's the, what I'm presuming is the princess, not Ganondorf in disguise. That actually would be pretty funny if it was. By the way, I thought I should point this out. Uh, if you guys look inside there, you will see some familiar cuckoos blocking the view. Yeah, there's Yoshi and uh, Princess Peach. Uh, there's Mario. Uh, I think there's some, actually some other characters here. So, like, there's... If we can... There's Luigi. Uh, oh, wait, there's... Yeah, there's Bowser. Anyone over here? Uh, I see Yoshi. I don't think I see anyone else. Yeah, okay. And then over here... We got a potted plant! A cameo by a potted plant. Very exciting. <laughs> cool stuff. Surprise! No. <laughs> what what great eyebrows you have! <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who are you? How did you? Who? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Then are you, are you from the forest? Cause that's where fairies are from. A dream told me. Then, then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, my voice is losing it. Do you have it? What would she say if I, if I said no? He's like, oh, nice to meet you then. I'm waiting for someone else. All right, do you have it? What is that high face? Just as I thought. <laughs> like seriously, what is that face? It's so weird. All right. I had a dream, and the dream dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. Like we never ever get rain here. There's no dark clouds, only white puffy ones. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, like some dark brown shit, parted the cloud. <laughs> parted the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Followed by a fairy. <laughs> I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. I'm just going to put my fist right directly below my mouth for no reason. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even... 
and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. <laughs> what is your name? That's an interesting name. I like that. It suits you. Link. Strange. It sounds... <laughs> it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. Ah... <laughs> I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. And I can never put open my mouth without leaving my tongue out. <laughs> Please keep this a secret from everyone. No, it's going straight to the papers. Er, that should be me. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, and since you said yes, I'll tell you my greatest secret. The legend goes like this. Remember the toilet from episode th three? <laughs> the three go oh, the three goddess. Th okay, the th I'm gonna read this in normal voice. The three goddesses had the sacred power, the power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands, and then boost it into outer space with turbo power. If someone, if someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. But we never bother because hell, why would we do that? If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. Lulz. So, the ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. Seems logical. Okay, good story. Good story. That's right! The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world! But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time! And in order... <laughs> and in order to open the door, it is said that you need... <laughs> that you... <laughs> that you need to collect three spiritual stones! And another thing you need is a Mickey Mouse voice! Is... <laughs> is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend! The Ocarina of Time! Panning Shot! Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yeah, it wasn't that hard to understand. <laughs> it's pretty simple. That's great! I'm so glad you were able to comprehend language! I forgot to tell you, I was spying through this window just now! And now I'm going to point it out for everyone who's behind the window to see! The other, <laughs> the other element from the from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Sure. Woo. <laughs> That's oh, he just came into frame. What? Who? He wasn't there before. How are you looking at him? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? It's kind of discriminatory, but it's totally evil. I can see it from a distance. That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Oh, he's <laughs> oh, he swears allegiance <laughs> to my father. I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. <laughs> what was that creepy face? He's like, I see you. Like, <laughs> What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry, it's not like he's an all-powerful evil wizard. He, do <laughs> he doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Yes! I told, my <laughs> I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce. Of the sacred realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it, and he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. So, a world so unimportant, it doesn't have a name. Link, now we are the ones, only ones, who could protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. <laughs> She's totally high right now. This is. It wasn't it wasn't a prophecy, it was weed. <laughs> Thank you. I 
I am afraid. I have a feeling that man, that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You, go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does. <laughs> and, the, and then defeat him. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> it's hard to do this, this for so long. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Dun 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 dun! You received a piece of mail. It will totally help out. Just like every other freaking item in the game, you can use it as an item. Surprise! Oh, oh okay, good good conversation. Okay! <laughs> um, oh, there's Impa. So, here, let's, let's see that. Hey, Impa, you yeah, some gr great... I don't even know what you call that, eyeliner? Do you, do you put eyeliner down his streaks below your eyes? Are those her eyebrows? I don't know. I am Impa. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm not doing it. This is to be the one girl in this entire game who doesn't have that voice. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? <laughs> My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. It was a very specific melody, Th or a uh, prophecy. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. Is it the happy birthday song? It's been around a long time too, but you know, no one's going around teaching that to heroes of time. I have played this song for Princess Zelda's lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Can you get a musical instrument? That sounds like shit. <laughs> like seriously, that's that's not a very loud whistle. All right. Wow, very did. We got the, what is it, the first song? Yeah, first song of the game. Or no, second song, Saria came first. <laughs> Here we go, guys. What was in that ocarina? <laughs> See his face? There was something in there, and it definitely is a, um, wasn't, wasn't air. <laughs> You've learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. How? Like, what, what, what can you do that's so special? Oh, wow, she just kicked me all the way out of town. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, which is named for its lovely living Gorons. Home of the Gorons. Like I mentioned, they hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko Village. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. So die! <laughs> Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the two with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Flashbang! <laughs> like, she just disappears. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Um, so... Uh, this is pretty. Uh, this has been a pretty productive episode. Um, hope you guys are still liking this series. I'm still having a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm so glad that I'm not talking to as many female characters because that voice is hard. Let me tell you to try and make do that on a, on a like for a whole conversation. But anyways, guys, sorry that I uh, I kind of did Jimmy Fallon there and I was laughing the whole way through. But I hope it's still funny. Uh, I think it still will be hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm Pineapter. This is the outro, guys. See ya. <laughs>